It is a Thursday edition here of the kickoff hour. Rick and Bubba join us at the top of the hour. Already Thursday, hard to believe. Good morning. I'm really concerned today. Well, uh, Evidently, we had a fire inspection yesterday. Mm. He's got a little cord problem. And you can't take one of those and plug into extension cord. It has to be one that's made with the tail all the way. Right. Why? We run it once a week. Why don't we just unplug it when we? So what did they? Say? I mean, what did they say? They sent an email all that crap, but I don't remember half. I was half listening. The fire extinguishers are all out of date. They're like 2013. I don't know who's in charge of that. Why don't we just get a sharpie and change the date on? Well, we'll we'll review it and see. I bought these pens for our Bible study at Office Depot, ballpoint pens. And I gotta tell you, I'm a little concerned about the way they explain something on here. It's a black pen. You got some racist pens there, man. All right, let's pray. Lord, we love you. You got cut, dude? Yeah, a little bit. That I explains the ketchup in the popcorn. You have to watch out. Of course, Greg gave me no warning. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Yeah. Hey, Helms, should we tell Speedy that he's got headphone junk on his head, or should we just not tell him? Yes. I think we should Gosh. always tell him. I need new headphones. Where, where is it? It's a bike. It's, like it's got, got sideburns, man. Headphones. Are y'all kidding? No. 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 It like, looks cool, though, man. It's, if you could get it to match the other side, you might have you some. Hey, Speedy, wait, look at me real quick. What? Look, when you get in the situation, we're dealing, this This is what we have to understand in politics of today. And it's been this way for, you know, most of our history. This is like trying to get a Boston Red Sox fans to say something good about the Yankees. You can't. You know, in, in our state, it's like trying to get the most rabid Alabama fan you can think of, say, give me a war eagle. It's not going to happen. Anything that the opposing party does is bad. Anything they do, if, even if it's the same thing, is good. So, and, and you just have to know that, and if you're the party who's got the upper hand right now, go ahead and fulfill your agenda, try to circumvent them, move around them, and when they're out there hollering and crying, talk about how evil you are, uh, just ignore it. Rick and Bubba Show, what's your name, where are you calling from? Rick and Bubba Show, this is Greg. Rick and Bubba Show, this is Speedy, what's your name and where are you calling from? I was, uh, had the honor last night to be asked and come speak to a group of men um, at a church for their like barbecue dinner. Well, I had the blessing of, of being positioned with the older fellas. <laughs> oh. Now, when I say older, I'm talking 93. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sitting around uh. with, with four or five guys in that, in that pocket, mm. you know, any, any high 70s all the way up to, to early 90s. Yes. And to, I just sat and listened. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's awesome. my favorite. Hey, yeah. look, hey, look, and they got to going. I remember I, I was uh, I actually worked concessions at Yankee Stadium, and that's what I would do. And I would work until Mantle would come up, and then I'd stop. stop he, he's, I can't tell wow. how many home runs I watched Mickey Mantle hit Yankee Stadium. Wow. Now, what am I going to say to that? I mean, I remember like early in my career when I used to pretend uh, like to do a show on Friday, uh, Buck Naked for Buck Naked Friday. Yeah, I thought I was going to grow up to be a be a farmer. I said, well, what did you finally do with your life? I was a surgeon. <laughs> oh, 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 big difference. Oh, thought I was going to get to come in here a little bit. Looks like I'm back out again. <laughs> back out. When did you decide to be a surgeon? When I was flying a bomber in World War II. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, I actually saw Van Halen when David Lee Roth was still the lead singer. <laughs> when I was growing up, you could get on your bicycle. Your parents had no cell phones to keep up with you and let you ride your bike across the city to a buddy's house, which is down busy roads with and everything, no with no helmet on and just be home by dinner. And that's what you did. Now you gotta have, I gotta track you, I gotta call you, I gotta know where you're at, and you sure as heck can't ride your bicycle outside the neighborhood. That's where we've gone. You know what I mean? Oh, this is horrible. I can remember, and this hadn't been that long ago, when I would get up and go to work, no cell phone. Nobody had a cell phone. So when I left, I told my wife, I said, I'll be home when I'm home. There's an emergency. Call the power company. 
and nobody, we all survived. It was fine. Now, and I'm guilty of it, you can't go anywhere without your phone. And what I liked better about it then is I didn't have to get called on the way home to stop and get stuff, like bread. Yeah, Aaron and I went on a walk the other day and we get out into the street with the dogs and I realize that neither of us have our phone. Oh, y'all panicked. And it was like, should we go back? On the weekends, if me and Lisa are together, I won't have my phone because I'm like, if, if it's an emergency for the kids, they'll call her anyway. Yeah, they like her better, so they'll call oh, her. Oh, that's fine, yeah. What's something from your childhood that you miss like that? Huh, you know, um, what is really sad is, do you remember, I was still in the generation where you still had to roll up windows? Yeah. And you know, you, that's just something that like kids nowadays have no idea about. They have no idea, you're exactly right. That's a good one, by the way. Uh, I see, one of the things I remember uh, as a kid, that uh, this is a good one, that's a big change in society. We would eat out only on special occasions and mom would cook three meals a, a day every day. Today, everybody eats out every day for three meals and cooks for special occasions. It was completely the reverse. And mama had cornbread, a nice pan of cornbread every single day. I love you, mama. Do we have any before and after pictures where we can confirm that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure we do. We can go I, I'm, I'd like to see that. Look, this place will wear you out. There's two things that are gray your hair, and one of them is being the president, and the second one is working here. What is that? Box of cookies right here. Oh, cookies. The last yeah. four days, I have drank 100 ounces of water a day. Really? And now, my, I, and now I, I feel like I'm dehydrated, and my... <laughs> My pea color is not what it needs to oh be. Oh my! Yeah, yellow killer fellow. I have drank plenty of water. No. I should not have yellow pea. No. Oh. No. Sometimes, y'all, I've been eating so much kale, my poop is real green. Oh my gosh! I. <laughs> 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 look, look at that wiggle going all the way down. Bubba, Bubba can do that. If his body like that, it would move just like that. <laughs> The Mine problem. gets dampened. Yeah, it's almost like the wiggle starts here and then it's lost in here for just a minute. And then you see it come out down in here somewhere. He would take his wing and dip it in the sauce and just get too much and chew on it and it'd get all around his mouth. I wasn't like sure. Oh, oh, I can't exaggerate enough. And he didn't. No. Just a man. Yeah, I, I don't know if I see him. Elderly people are men. I thought there might be something wrong with him, but I don't think there was. I think he's just a slob. Everybody in the restaurant was looking at him, Every, not just me. Like a baby? Almost like a yeah, baby does? Exactly like a baby. You know how a baby gets food? Yeah. And it's all over their face. That's what he would go. Was he trying to talk while he was doing it? No, nobody okay. would talk to him. He's by himself. It's horrible. Everybody was looking. Wow, this lady's really upset about the whole Comey thing. <laughs> Now, do I have this right? Is this a little too legit to commit right here? Do you remember this guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how long y'all been dating? Four, four years today. Oh, how, how much congratulations. Long, I mean, how much longer do you need <laughs> to finally decide you want to marry this girl? Well, I don't guess any longer. What? <laughs> okay, I know you said not to do it in public. Technically, this is not public. But, um... You know, I agree with the statement, if after what God did for me on the cross, if he never does another thing for me, that will have been enough. But he decided to do something else for me, and he sent me you, so. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I knew we got on you in February. I didn't know I didn't know we got on you that one. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I'll send you an invitation. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Why was I nervous? <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, I thought we going. I'm like, ah. If she says no, it's terrible and it's a horrifying moment, but we'll talk about it forever. <laughs> this place is so romantic. Four seven WZZK. Why does Adler have his shirt off? <laughs>